What's up everybody, Nobori here. Today we're going to be going over my Narbash build and guide. It's called Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's get our green little button here and we have a health potion, mana potion, harvester key, strike token just in case. We have three temper plates, three tuned barriers, and one lord's ward. Now at first glance you're going to be like, what the hell are you thinking Nobori? But you're not going to be saying that when I have 7,700 health and you can't kill me. Yeah, it's about to be all ogre now. I'll have other options for you guys at the end of this build, so stick around so I can let you know other options for you guys in case you want something else in here as mana, health regeneration, things like that. So stick around at the end, and I'll discuss that. The first skill you're going to want to get is Thunk. This is your right click. This will give you a .9 second stun. This will be great in team fights and engagements as well. No action has happened, so let's make our way back to base, and we're going to get our second card here. We're going to pick up a temper plate because I see that the enemy team is going to be doing a lot of physical damage here in the beginning, so we'll pick up that. And you also always have an option here to use guards in this item here for extra physical armor, which you shouldn't need, but we're going to go straight up with health with a greater health. I'm going to get rid of my Lord's War because I don't foresee myself needing it in this match with the current matchup here, so I'm going to get a health and a lesser health. This would leave us with 1,690 health. Our physical armor is also at 83. Now let's get some action action going on here. I see my teammate Murdoch is coming through the jungle, so I'm going to engage on the enemy team Fang Mao, and I'm going to hit him with a thunk to slow him down as I hit him with some basic attacks. As you can see, I don't do that much damage, but it's just enough. I'm going to use March to increase my movement speed and my teammate's movement speed to engage on the enemy here. I'm going to try to body block Decker here, and we're going to get one last hit. Take her out before she gets the tower. Grux comes back in. He pulls him in. I use a thunk to stun him again, and we get our third kill of the match right now. The extra health definitely helped. We're at two kills and two assists. Let's go. Now, I probably should have went back to base, but I see that my teammate Grux is sizing up the enemy team Chimera, and I'm gonna have my Thunk ready, so let's, might as well, let's go balls to the wall and see what we can do here. He's gonna go in and pull in the enemy team Chimera. I'm gonna jump in. The enemy team Chimera is gonna jump at me. As I fall down, I'm gonna hit him with a Thunk to stun him mid-air as we drop here in the jungle, and Grux is gonna secure that kill for our team, and we get our third assists. Thumbs up, bruh. Now, since I'm primarily going to be concerned about Fang Mao and Chimera, I'm going to get another Temper Plate. And in this, I'm going to put a Greater Health, leaving us with 2,310 health and 107 physical armor. Ooh, I see some action going over here on right lane, and we have our ultimate, so let's do that. We got our ultimate, and the ultimate's going to actually do an area of effect slow, area of effect damage, and a knockup at the end. And I'm going to throw a Funk right at the enemy team gadget as it pops her up, and we're going to secure our next kill. Give me a chest bump, bruh. Boom! Welcome to the fat lane. Now that we have nine points to spend, let's finish off our temper plate with a health and a lesser health. Next, we're going to pick up a tuned barrier. And in this, we're going to actually go with the same route. And you have the other options here that you can use barriers in case you need extra energy armor. Since we don't need that, we're going to get a health, a lesser health. This will leave us with 3,230 health, 153.8 physical armor, and 43.8 energy armor. And we're back in the fat lane with my homeboy Rampage here as he throws a boulder at the enemy team Decker. I throw a funk at her and use my ultimate to slow them down and the enemy team gadget as we engage. Rampage is going to jump in with his ultimate. I'm going to back up so I don't take damage from the tower. As I re-engage, I'm going to use my Q skill for me and Rampage to get a speed boost so he can get that kill on the enemy team Decker. He's going to keep attacking the enemy team gadget here as I use a funk to secure that kill as he backs up from the tower. Shortly after, the enemy team Chimera is trying to stop us from taking his tower. I'm going to use a funk to slow him down and use my march skill to get me and Rampage to safety. And to show you how effective this tank build is, I'm going to take three ultimates here at half health. Chimera, Gadget, and Murdoch all ult me at the same time as I use my Q skill, which is March to back up, and I still have 688 health. Damn, dude. What a success. Who's bad? Doom, doom, doom. All right, let's get right in here. With a tuned barrier, we're going to finish this off, and we're going to get a greater health in this, leaving us with 3,640 health and 89 energy armor. As we're running through the hometown, my swamp, I see that Murdoch is over here on my right. I missed my basic attack. I'm going to hit him with a thunk to slow him down and stun him as my teammates engage on him because they see me in the jungle here engaging on the enemy team Murdoch. We're going to get pushed back as Grux pulls him back in. I'm going to use my ultimate for shits and giggles because, man, does that sound cool. And I think that everybody else enjoyed it as well. Yes.
Once again, the big boy crew rampage is gonna use his ultimate to tower dive as I engage the enemy team Murdoch here. I'm gonna use my thunk to stun him as we attack the tower. Get the tower one good last whack, and we're gonna engage on the enemy team Murdoch. Use our ultimate to slow him down and get that knock up. Yeah, I'm sorry, space cop. You're not gonna take us to jail today. Give me that fifth kill. With three points to spend, we're gonna pick up another tuned barrier. This will get us 112.2 energy armor also an extra 100 health now you guys are gonna see my one and only mistake in this match the enemy team come here jumps in and we're gonna jump and tower dive as i use my thunk i'm gonna go in to get this kill because well i'm greedy but rampage throws a boulder takes him out i'm gonna get stuck on these minions here as everybody left on the team chases me into the jungle as you can see i don't take that much damage but it's only a matter of time since we're so far out from our tower and i have no health we're gonna fall Oh, you got three points to spend? Well, you guessed it. A greater health it is, leaving us with 4,260 health. Damn. Now let's cause a ruckus in the jungle. I'm going to chase the enemy team Fang Mao and Chimera here in the jungle and hope that my teammates will join me here as they see me engage on the enemy team Fang Mao. Fang Mao is doing pretty much little to no damage to me as it takes slivers of my health away. My teammate Grux joins in here, uses his ultimate. We're going to re-engage here and we're going to use our speed boost here so our teammate can engage on them. Unfortunately, Fang Mao gets away, but he's going to re-engage. I'm going to use my ultimate to prevent them from killing my teammate Grux to slow them down. Unfortunately, he's going to get rocked here, but we can re-engage on all these three here as my teammate Rampage joins in. We're going to keep hitting the enemy team Fang Mao as my teammate Rampage joins in. The enemy team Decker is going to come behind us, but we're going to get that kill on Fang Mao. And you can see that that's the first time I used my E skill, Song of the People, because I wasn't sure how long I was going to be in that battle. But that uses so much mana that I don't even use it on him because I want to save my mana for other abilities. Now the enemy team Murdoch is going to get the D here as I hit him with a thunk, and we're going to take that kill. Yeah! Now your Q ability not only increases the movement speed of your teammates, but also the minions as you can see here is an example of how you can push a tower faster with that Q ability. Our next upgrade we're going to upgrade our tuned barrier here with lesser health and a health leaving us with 4,670 health and 158.6 energy armor. Next up I'm going to get a tuned barrier this is going to give us extra health and extra energy armor bringing us to 4,770 health. Oh yeah, let's drop the base and get right in here with the team fight. We're gonna hit the enemy team Murdoch with our stun and use our ultimate to slow down the enemy team here. We got pushed back. However, we still knocked up Gadget and Fang Mao as we re-entered the battle here with everybody intact. We're gonna keep hitting on the enemy team Murdoch and secure that kill with our teammate. Now as you can tell, you can stay in team fights longer and in battle longer with this build, which is phenomenal. The reason why I don't have cooldown reduction or anything like that is to get 40% cooldown will only give you six seconds off your stun ability. And for me, that's just not worth it. That is a ton of points to spend for not much sustainability in a battle. Yes, you get more stun chances, but you will be so much more squishier. You'll be targeted a lot more and taken down a lot more. Now you can see there that I used the Tune Barrier and the Tempered Plate throughout this build and also had options to throw extra armor in on each of those armor types. What I would do is save those two for last just in case you are taking a huge amount of damage from certain damage types, you can account for that even more as they build armor penetration to try to get to your health pool. Unfortunately, the enemy team Decker handed in the orb prime to get their inhibitor back, but she's not going to get away from us. Hell no, we're going to hit her with one thunk, and she's going to get stuck between a rock and a soft pillow man that is green. Goodbye. Now we're going to have a little team engagement here. My teammate Grux is going to pull in the enemy team Murdoch once again. He's going to get the D with my drumstick. Knock him out. Now let's talk about what we were talking about in the beginning of this video. Other options that you have with this Narbash build. You can either start with a circle of health as you start the match, or you can use it as a supplement to when you need more mana throughout the match. Circlet of health also yields health regeneration at 4.5 for you and your teammates. You can see I have a basic mana, a mana, and an advanced mana. Your tune barrier and your temper plate also have the same amount of upgrades in them with a 1, a 2, and a 3. So you can replace them at any point in this match that you see that you need more mana. Your final card in this deck is going to be Tempered Plate, and in this you're going to have a Greater Health, a Beta Health, and Alpha Health. Yes, these cards cost a lot of points, but this is going to be your last card. You already have a whole bunch of health, so this shouldn't be an issue having building this last 
because of that fact. Also, your prime card is going to be the Centurion. This will give you an extra 1000 health and give your minions an extra 500 health when you're around them. When it's all said and done, without the prime buff, you'll have 6700 health and you'll have 220 energy armor and physical armor. If you have the prime card and the Centurion is active, you will have 7700 health. And the reason why I explained all this as I did is because, as you can see, at a thumbs up, the enemy team surrendered. Hope everybody enjoyed my Narbash build and guide. I will leave an alternative build for this below, so in case you guys don't have all these temper plates and tune barriers, you'll still be able to build this build closely to what my build is. If you guys have any comments or questions, be sure to drop them below in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you guys know when I post new content, and also drop a like so I know you guys would love to see more Paragon content. But until next time, I hope the CXP is always in your favor, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!